All right, Shalom. I'm going to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemel Bashar? Double honor, small apostles, my elders, a great minister. Peace and salutations, all the brothers doing his work in truth and sincerity. And this is a letter of Jeremiah. Um, I'm just going to read through this briefly. Um, I just wanted to get the first few verses. Actually, it's pretty long. <clears throat> but I'm finna read the first few verses. This is Jeremiah, letter of Jeremiah 1 and 1. A copy of an epistle which Jeremy sent unto them which were led away, which were led to be led away into captives into Babylon by the king of the Babylonians to certify them as it was commanded him of the Most High. Because, because of the sins which ye have committed before the Most High, ye shall be led away captives into Babylon by Nebuchadnezzar, king of the Babylonians. No, if I'm not, wait. Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, I think I said it right. Nebuchadnezzar, if I'm saying it right. So when ye be come unto Babylon, ye shall remain there many years and for a long season, namely seven generations. And after that, I will bring you away peaceably from thence. Now shall ye see in Babylon gods of silver and of gold and of wood born, bore upon your sho upon shoulders, which cause the nations to fear. Beware. Therefore, that ye in no wise be like the strangers, neither be ye of them, when ye see the multitude before them and behind them worshiping them. But say ye in your hearts, O Yahweh, we will worship thee. And that's all we, that's what we're doing, man. You know, because we have been led away captives into our caps, into these other nations. And our people have picked up the customs. They have become Gentiles, man. We have Gentiles in the heart, man. You know? This is verse seven. For mine angel is with you, and I and I myself caring for your souls. And that's the Lord, man. He always has his angels in the midst protecting us, man. Even though we can't see them, they are there. As for their tongue, it is polished by the work workmen, and they, and they themselves are guiled and laid over with silver. Yet they are false and cannot speak. And like the scripture says in, uh, in Psalms, all the gods of the nations are idols. You know, they're not real gods, man. And the Lord has proven that many a times, man. It was beaten into us to, you know, we was conditioned to do that shit, man, to serve them fucking the idols, man. You know, and if we, you know, Jake ain't got no integrity, so if we don't do it, man, you're going to get put to death. And Jake gets scared, so he just do it. You know, this is verse 12. I think I skipped some. Yeah, I'm gonna start. This is verse twelve. Um, um, let's go to this person. Um, all the gods of the nation, the idols. <clears throat> you know, our people are so hard headed, man. Jake is hard headed and stiff hearted. This is Psalms. Wait, wrong one. Yeah, this is right one. Psalms chapter 96, verse 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. You know, so that's quick and powerful. You know, the Lord Yahweh made the heavens. You know, but all the idols of the nations are a bunch of bullshit, man. <laughs> You know, ain't no real gods, you know. And the scripture says, you know, thou shalt not um, worship idols, man, other gods. First of all, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushua is a jealous power, man. That's first and foremost. This is uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, Yahweh, am thy power and a jealous God and jealous power, visit the iniquity of the fathers upon the children 
unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me. Why did the Lord say that? You know, why did he say that? Because when you come, we come back every third, uh, every uh, third and fourth generation, you know, you might be your only, you might be your great grandson or something, you know, or great, great grandson, you know, you never know. But, you know, every, we come back every three or four, three to four generations. So we may die. And then a few generations later, we might come back, you know, in that same bloodline, in that same family, if you will, you know. <clears throat> because the reincarnation is in the Bible, you know, and that's that. How else was, um, how else would Yahweh Shai be? Uh, the, the son of Isaac, I mean, the son of Abraham and the son of David. He was also, he was a part of that bloodline, but that's not what it's saying. It's some deeper being said right there, you know. It also has the, uh, his, uh, oh, and Elijah the prophet, John the Baptist, man. You know, he was Elijah. The Lord said he was going to send us Elijah. And he came before Yahweh Shah came. You know, but that's a lesson, another lesson for another time. This is Exodus 34 and 14. For thou shalt not, thou sh for thou shalt worship no other God for Yahweh, thy, whose name is jealous, is a jealous power. So we cannot, if we sell, if we, uh, Worship these other gods. The Lord is going to punish us for that. Because that's a that's a commandment, man. That's a sin if you do that. And sin is death, man. Let's get that real quick. Um, it's a lot. This is... The wrong one. The wages of sin is death. Where is that? I believe it's in Romans. Yeah, Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shah Mashiach and Mashiach. Thy power. <coughs> <coughs> Our Lord. So, through Yahweh Shah, we have eternal life, man. You know, and that's that. But, you know, this lesson was a little all over the place, but I want to focus on, on the idols. You know, we should not worship idols. And how the reason why we in this captivity now is because of all our sins. But, you know, the time is coming, you know, that we're not going to have to worry about sinning ever again, you know. We're going to be righteous forever, and we're going to live in peace forever and ever and ever, man.